Hey guys, welcome back to the Matus Loft. Sylvia here. So I got a couple of things I want to share with you. First is the returns from 100 mile toss that I did this past Wednesday. So now I have three long tosses. So that's good. It's starting to give me some indication on who's going to do okay. Because, I mean, we can't really tell until they're released with the you know everybody else's birds in that big flock and split away from the big flock and come home but it's starting to give me an indication and uh so i'll show you that i'll show you how the birds are doing in terms of performance and so that way you can actually pick uh, a bird in fact i plan on doing a release on Sunday right from the first race spot so that will be the last long toss before race number one so the rest of the week they'll do a loft flying and likely I'll go to 45 miles one time I'm gonna show you the return from the 100 miles after that, I'm gonna show you the sheets. And at the end, I'm actually gonna show you a few birds that are currently in my list right on top. All right, so stand by. So that was the uh, returns. So now I want to show you the progress of the birds and which ones are doing better. I will provide you a list every time I post something in terms of the lineup of the birds I'm going to send for the race. So we can consider this a rehearsal uh, for, for uh, an actual race, even though Sunday it, it'll be just the last long toss but you know we can rehearse as if it was uh, race one so it'll it'll uh, be a good thing for us to uh, to rehearse together so um, so this is uh, the 60 mile toss results 80 mile toss and 100 miles uh, that I did just this past Wednesday Sunday like I said I'm going to do 123 miles uh, toss and then Sunday the 13th will be the official race number one so likely on Friday night I'll do either a, a short video or I'll do a post a community post with a lineup with the updated spreadsheet and you guys can use that to place your bids in terms of who you think is going to be the number one bird to clock in so now i created a column with points uh, this is not your bidding points this is the points that i'm giving each bird depending on the result uh so the first bird will get 100 points the second bird coming in will get two points less than the first place the third bird to clock in will get two points less than the second bird and so on and so forth so that way i can see that you know based on the past couple of uh races 
and and long tosses how they are doing and you you know you you use that for your analysis obviously the for instance a race will weigh a lot heavier than a, a toss training but you know i'll let you guys decide on that so right now look i got my uh lcm 829 he was first or he was 16th at the 60 miles he was first at the 80 miles he was first again at the 100 miles and who knows who knows what's gonna happen uh come sunday then i got 2538 he was 20th at the 60 he was fifth at the 80 and he was eighth at the 100 but in terms of points he's in second place now i got 2532 he was third just on wednesday at the 100 miles he was 18th at the 80 17th at the 60. in terms of points he's in third place so and then we got 1413 he was second at the 100 miles but he was only fourth at the 80 and fifth at the 60. but in terms of point he's in number four all right and i'm going to show you these top uh five five or six birds here in a minute so this is what you look for in the post that i'll make i'll tell you the lineup because i i may or may not send uh, some birds i got probably another 10 races on top of the 10 combine races i'm talking about special money races guys so i gotta manage the birds accordingly so so that's that so based on this you uh decide to bet you know you can bet as little as one point and you can bet as much as three thousand points and that takes me to the next thing so so far up until right now i have 34 people that signed up so far so these 34 guys or girls have 3000 points just for signing up now if if this was you know the real race you would bid uh and then pick a bird uh, let's say you pick bird number 2532 and that bird uh, is number one and this part uh, this is just a uh, hypothetically speaking uh this bird you you bid let's say you bid a thousand points and he is number one so you're gonna get an additional thousand points for bidding correctly so then your new balance will be 4,000 points. Plus, just for, for bidding, you're going to get an additional 1,000 points for next week. So you're going to get that extra 1,000 uh, 1, points. Now, if you pick, uh, let's say, 1419, and you bid, I don't know, I don't care. You bid the whole thing. You bid 3,000 points. Okay, well, that bird was sixth. Well, you get minus 3,000 because not only you don't get any points, you lose the points that you bid. So now your new balance is not going to be negative 3,000 or, or zero because it is going to be 1,000 points just for playing. So you get it? So you get 1,000 points just for batting no bet no points and the bids you bid from one point up to how much as you have in your balance and you get a hundred percent of your bet if you if the bird you picked is number one 50 percent if the bird you picked is number two to clock in and 25 percent if the bird is in third place and if uh, fourth or later not only get zero points you obviously lose your bet so you lose your points so bid accordingly guys be smart so now because i'm doing this uh, long toss training on sunday which happens to be the same 
distance as the as the um, first race, I want you to pick a bird. I'm gonna have the, uh, the 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 spreadsheet that I showed you of their performance attached or in the description. You go in, pick a bird, put in the comments which bird you pick, and the bid amount. All right. So let's do that, and uh, it'll be a good rehearsal for the actual race one comes Sunday. All right. So let me show you uh, the birds. Uh, there are. Uh, on top of the list so far this uh, doesn't mean too much right now guys because it's like I said this is just toss training the races is really what's gonna matter but come Sunday this uh, longest toss is gonna start revealing some trends if not already okay so I'm gonna show you these top five birds right here bird number 1413 And uh, I believe he's a cock. He's a mealy or a red bar. He's 100% Vanden Bulk. He's on his uh, sixth wing. And he feels good. He's very alert, just wants to get out of my hand. And uh, he's a grand, great grandson of uh, Kittle, guys, right here. Look to the camera, say hi. Nope. All right. That's fourteen thirteen, guys. All right. Next up is my hand band number two five three eight. She is. Right now in second place in terms of points. She is from my little Clyde son, Albert Cock with Albert the uh, Hen. Her sister was my one of my best birds last year. And the sister a year before was my number one South Section bird. So no wonder she's on top, and I have high hopes for her as well. There's her wing. She feels good. She's not overweight. She's not too, too skinny either. Again, she's alert. She's got good vibes. She wants to get out of my hand. And she looks just like her sisters. Right here, number two. In number three spot, we got 2532. Two. He is from my Thomas Six Pair. He's a beautiful pencil cock. He's got a beautiful wing. Again, feels good in the hand. Super strong, super nice wing, and uh, here he is, full of energy, just like the others, and uh, I have high hopes for him as well. First time I'm uh, racing a Thomas Six descendant bird here in uh, Admetus Loft. All right, guys, I got here 829, currently on top of the list of performers. He came, he clocked in first at the 80 mile toss and again first at the 100 mile toss. He is great grandson of both Kittle and Gripel. Nice wing. And he's also, or uh, his uh, dam is from Joe Laka. And I believe uh, it's got a Mike Guinness blood. And so 
He uh, he does have that uh, that feature, that triangle of speed. And um, if you want to look at that video that I that I did on that, I'll post it uh, up here. But he feels good. He's got a good weight. He's very uh, muscly. He's got a beautiful eye. Let's look at his throat. Nice deep throat, which I like. Man, he feels really good. I hope he continues. Guys, remember, you still have time to register for the competition if you want. You can only register on this video up here. I'm going to post. Until next time, climb with purpose. Bye-bye.